Hey everyone, this is Kenny, and today I would like to dial in some signature sounds from certain rock stars out there using the Black Star Silverline series. Um, and I'm going to deep edit using the Architect software, using it uh, plugging in via USB. And I'm micing it up with a 57 to keep it more traditional. Uh, so I'm going to get into the more of a slash tone, slashy tone, so to speak. I have my Les Paul tuned down half step because slash. <laughs> um, so the cool thing about the Silverline series, many things, but one thing is that uh, you could do emulate some cool power tube emulations in there, um, anywhere from KT88 all the way down to EL84 and everything in between. Basically, uh, it's just the amount of compression and amount of mid-range that you want to uh, enhance um, and all these, it's basically like a preset EQ, basically, and co compression. And the voices, anything from super high gain to uh, shimmery clean, you could get that also. Like all black stars, you get a lot of gain. So um, if you're into that kind of music, more of a heavier stuff, you get plenty enough juice. But you could also get nice classic rock tones. So we're going to get into that. So I already kind of preset the sound already, just to you know, save some time for both of us. <laughs> um, so I have it on 6L6. Uh, which is kind of like my favorite um, sound because it's not too compressed but not too open sounding and you can just hear that nice throaty uh, mid-range um, in there and here let's just hear it real quick <laughs> So Slash is, all, if you go, to, go on like YouTube or something like that, and you could check isolated guitar tracks for all these uh, signature artists. And that's what I did. I went on there and just listen, listen to some of the sounds and kind of like get the idea. And what I realized and recognized is that Slash had a lot of that high top end sizzle um, on a, on, even on the neck pickup. So I kind of emulated that. So as you can see, I basically just dimed the treble and cranked the mid-range to like nine, so it's almost cranked. And then I lowered the low, uh, low end side of things to really like get that twangy, almost single coil-like tone even on the neck pickup. Um, and I had turned up the ISF all the way up to the British side so that it doesn't get too sizzly and too scooped and top endy. So I'm kind of like balancing things out a little bit. On the 6L6, and then I have it on the super crunch mode and I have the gain down to like two. Um, and then, as you can see, the plate reverb. I like to have a bigger sounding reverb, but the level turned on a little bit. So you can still hear that nice ambient, but not like, it doesn't sound like a cave, basically. So again, so this is what it sounds like. So I think you could hear that top end sizzle, uh, but still have that nice, warm, round tone. So let's just mess around and just to hear the difference. So that was on 6L6 TVP. So I'm going to switch over to EL34. You can hear, at least I could feel it under my fingers that it's a little bit more compressed. And the mid range sits in a different place. When you want to do like more of a long, sustained singing notes, maybe you want to get into the EL34. Almost sounds like Gary Moorish. And uh, also, Slash doesn't really use um, much modulation or anything like that, but certain songs like, I'm not going to say the actual song title because of you know copyright and stuff, but... I think you know what song what I'm talking about when I played those. So I have, I kicked in the chorus, I turned up all the mix all the way up, a little bit heavier on the depth. So it gets a little bit wobbly, but it doesn't get too, you know, wishy-washy. So that could be a cool little sound too. You want to be in like a Guns N' Roses tri uh, tribute band. So 
I'm on my bridge pickup now, it's, and it's still nice and round. <laughs> Not as piercing, even though I have the treble mid-range turned all the way up. And because I have the ISF all the way onto the British side, it doesn't get too, you know, uh, sizzly. And when I turn it on my neck pickup, it's still nice and round. Not as boomy.